Welcome back to Cobra Comics. Huge shout out to Dress Shears Comics and Things Richard. He has reached his 600 subscriber milestone. And I just want to say congratulations. That's awesome. It's not easy on YouTube to gain that many subscribers and to keep them. So Rich, keep up all the great content, all the great work. You uh, definitely deserve it. You've been a solid pillar in the community. He also lives here in Arizona as I do. And um, it's just awesome to see that you're doing so well. So here is my um, entry into his contest. Um, it was really simple. He's given away a ton of different um, of prizes and there's different ways to get different um, entries for the different prizes. But uh, this is the one uh, that I'm gonna be doing for him. He wanted to see uh, for 2019 what you've uh, collected so far or something that you're gonna, that's gonna stay in your collection that you've been after. Um, I think he said a minimum of five uh, things he wanted to see. So um, I didn't count how many I have, but I think it should be a, around five or a little bit more. So anyways, Richard, um, yeah, I hope you like it. So um, I think you have to be 18 or older. Um, I don't know if he's doing um, shipping uh, international. I'm not too sure. Anyways, I'll leave a link to the actual video in uh, the description section so you guys can go and check out all the contest rules and all that. Um, I just remember that he said he wants to see a minimum of five things uh, for 2019 that you've uh, hunted or collected and that um, is going to stay in your collection. Actually, Richard uh, sold to me was this Grim Knight variant, um, KRS uh, variant for Grim Knight. Uh, this was a one shot of the introduction of Grim Knight and also a um, homage um, cover to Todd McFarlane as well. So, and it also came with the COA. There was different uh, ratios on this one on uh, which covers, like the Virgin cover and a couple other covers that had different ratios on them. I don't remember if this was... There's 750 um, copies of this one. Um, and this was copy uh, 544. So this one is a limited uh, one to get. I just thought it was a super awesome cover with all the guns and, and the, the homage to... Um, Todd McFarlane, I thought that was pretty awesome. So Richard have it, had it for sale and I jumped right on it, but this one will definitely stay in my collection. That it's something I got for 2019. So another pickup I got from Double Double E's Comics is um, on IG. Great prices on these. Uh, the Torment um, series of this. I got the silver one in a 9.8 already slabbed. Here's the gold one and then also the regular covered one. I think there's a, a platinum edition and um, a couple other type of variants. I want to get all these and um, slam all these, but these will definitely be staying in my collection. And I got these this year as well. Um, I got this from, I think, Barbarian Kung Fu. He's on IG as well and also has YouTube. Spider Man 2099, the foil um, edition, or I think the number one is just a foil itself. I don't think it's anything, uh, you know, special or a variant or anything, but. Number one, Spider-Man 2099 um, foil cover. You know, I'm a pretty big Spider-Man fan. I have a lot of Spider-Man stuff and all my pops and so forth. So, had to come into the collection. I uh, got a good price on this. And, um, yeah, so that will be in my collection as well. I got a stealth buy this year on um, Dead Rabbit. It was in the dollar bin. And I knew that this one... Um, is discontinued there was something on um, in New York I guess there's an actual bar named Dead Rabbit and they actually also do their menus have uh, comic uh, strips in them as well so not only did they steal the name but also the whole comic theme um, it's not the same type of story but I'm just it's you know what a coincidence that it's also the name and that they actually actually do comics in their um, their menus as well is kind of you know one of those things so they discontinued making this i think there's only three that came out um so far that were released and then they had to recall them but um i got this one on a stealth buy for a buck in the dollar bin uh it's pretty good condition um not you know not many spine ticks or anything maybe a little corner bin but other than that if i got it pressed i think it'd be a pretty high grade um, i haven't read it yet um but i thought that was pretty awesome that i found something in the dollar bin that's you know pretty uh, hard book to get, you know, especially that it's recalled. So Dead Rabbit, I got this year, this year as well. I got this from um, Gomez, Comic Collector. Uh, first appearance of Omega Red, um, X-Men number four. So this one just brings back um, childhood memories and um, 
I saw that he had uh, some extras and he we did a trade we ended up just doing a trade and um, he surprised me with this and you know a handful of other books and I uh, surprised him with uh, uh, all Wolverine box as well so uh, yeah this is another one that I got this year and wanted to get one that was in pretty good you know high grade condition um, which it's in decent condition I think it's pretty good um, but yeah so this definitely was a cool pickup this year and that will be in my collection for a long time um, and then also another act of kindness uh, from OMG Chris I got a 9.8 uh, Phoenix Resurrection number one uh, our germ cover our germ has definitely been blowing up on the scene and has quickly become my number one favorite artist um, and I see myself collecting a lot of a lot of his variants so this was just like icing on the cake when uh, Chris sent me this it was like blew me away he also sent me another Superman slab and also a Ghost Rider slab but when I saw this art germ one I was just blown away this cover like it's just so amazing I know there's a lot of glare but when you see this in person and the detailing on it it's just it's a phenomenal cover and um, just blown away so this definitely will never be leaving my collection and uh, was an awesome uh, a okay this year from OMG Chris and then the last uh, set of um, things that I got um, help from was from um, uh, Wisconsin Clar but yeah he was going to uh, C2E2 and um, our art germ was going there and um, I just uh, asked him I knew he was going so I asked him if I sent him all my um, art germ variant covers from the Catwoman run if he would get them signed for me and he did and uh, that was just so awesome. So huge uh, shout out and thank you to Wisconsin Clar. Um, and I've showed these off before, but they're just amazing. Catwoman number one, Art Germ Signature. Um, they said he was really awesome, really cool guy. They were there actually um, early, him and uh, his friend Gio. They went early and they uh, were there quite a bit early, but um, they were wearing the Art Germ t-shirts and uh, he saw that and he told them, you know, hey, yeah, go ahead, because the publicist was telling him, no, they can't, he can't start signing this early and so forth. But he waved them off and said, yeah, no, I, they're wearing my shirt and they're big fans and let's go ahead and we'll, he'll sign all the books. So he, they got to talk to him one on one, basically, and get all their books signed. He got my book signed and uh, just really cool, awesome story and how awesome our germ is and down to earth and how cool he is to talk to this is uh, probably my, my favorite cover out of this um, series, the, Cat Rome, the Catwoman series, the number two. Got that in gold, Art Germ Signature. Uh, just really cool, vibrant colors. Just a really cool um, cover on that one. Um, number three, got it signed in black. Catwoman there. Um, this one was really cool too. This one to me looks like a pretty much a portrait, like an actual picture, like somebody took a picture and um, does not look like a drawing to me. That's how realistic it looks and how phenomenal his art is. Um, and that one's signed in gold as well. I thought that was a really good touch and perfect placement on that one. Um, this would be up there tied for probably my favorite um, cover out of this series, definitely. Now we've got a, a Wonder Woman 65. Um, which our germ cover as well, and then a gold signature with all of our gold accents and the gold signature. I thought that pop that popped very well. And then uh, the last one is the Mighty Thor Jane Foster run, um, right there in black. This is probably another number one cover that you could say in this run as well. That just is amazing, very realistic, very well done. Um, but yeah, so this year. Um, that will be staying in my collection for a while. Uh, some of them I will be getting slabbed and so forth. Um, my uh, pops is another thing I pretty much finished this year. Um, this is my whole uh, He-Man run in this case. Um, I'm only missing, I think, one of the newer ones, the Ram Man. Um, but I got everything else. I just picked up this one this year from uh, ECCC when they did that uh, buzz off. Uh, very cool looking pop, very um, colorful, and the wings are, you know, translucent and hard plastic. Uh, really cool looking pop. And the last one that I got this year, which was a struggle, was um, this uh, Spider-Man one. It's the, uh, there's the gold chrome one um, that's right here. It's gold chrome. Um, and then here's the red chrome one. 
that I got. I ordered this from Big Apple Collectibles. Do not order from them. Uh, very bad experience. I ordered in November. It was supposed to come out in March and I didn't get it this until late April, early May is how long it took. And it took me writing them a lot of emails, a lot of nasty stuff, a lot of um, you know, putting them on blast. I know Franklin Mc McInnes on the YouTube scene uh, did a re bad review on them and uh, everybody's comments on how um, bad their customer service was, but I'm glad I finally got this pop in my collection, uh, but I would never order from, the from them again and I would advise nobody to order from Big Apple Collectibles, but this is one that I got uh, this year as well and I'm glad I got that. Um, and then the last one that I wanted to show off are my Michael Jordan ones. Um, right here that I got this year. I'm missing only a couple of these, uh, but these two were a must for sure. And this is um, when he did the dunk competition. He also comes with a clear stand that actually makes it look like he's dunking off the ground, which is a really cool touch. So that one's from the dunk competition. Um, and then this one was a Target exclusive, uh, Michael Jordan pop. And this one was a little harder to find as well. Um, but I'm glad I have it in my um, collection. I did a trade for this one. Um, and this one is just him holding the basketball. Um, and has, you know, those retro Jordans, the Air Ones, AJ Ones. Um, but yeah, just really well done. Uh, the, only, the other two that I'm looking for are is the black jersey one where he's wearing the Space Jam um, shoes. And then also there's a all bronze one where it looks like the statue that's in front of the Bull Stadium of uh, Jordan Dunkin. Uh, they have a bronzed uh, version of that but yeah other than that that's um pretty much it for um what i got this year both comics and pops and um some of the stuff that is going to be in my collection for a long time but hopefully that satisfied everything richard and once again i just wanted to say congratulations and um yeah so anyways until next time stay awesome